Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for all things innovation. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Serena Ziv on the line, and she's founder over at Smart Notes. Serena, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Adam. All right, so um, I'm excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to get all into what Smart Notes is, um, why you founded it, and uh, talk a little bit more about what took place in that beta, uh, on that beta round that you did. So let's uh, just start off with a general overview of what um, Smart Notes is, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, we built a marketplace to buy and sell notes. And um, our users really can be anyone from college students to bloggers or industry experts. And the way it works is they can upload digital study docs, how-to guides, um, or real notes from their classes. Um, so essentially that means that, like, you could be uploading math theorems or, you know, the typical, like, uh, blogger content, how to slay at marketing, or even something um, like a diagram for how you should be planning your, your garden bed. Um, and the goal is really just to be a marketplace for essential notes of all kinds. So when I when I read the company description, I was just thinking about it, and I'm like, man, when I was in college, how nice this would have been. And I, that was probably not the way it's supposed to be. So I know it's not why you designed it, but I'm like, I could have that 8 a.m. that I just did not like. <laughs> like, can I just? Is there anybody selling notes on this one? I mean, is that um? So that was where my mind went with it. But I know you have a much broader view of what it is, and and also the people that have used it. So let's get into a little bit more about the closed beta and what kind of users um, you've attracted and just kind of some of the response. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, the way that it started was we were thinking about students, definitely, but then uh, something that we wanted to look beyond was the typical category way mm -hmm. uh, to display information. So we created something akin to a library index tool, um, mm -hmm. and that way you can just use labels to uh, describe the note that you're posting. And when we did that, we started to see that it really could host notes of any and all kinds of expertise um, and subject matter. So that's where we realized the potential is much larger than just students. Um, and for our closed beta, uh, what we did was we um, direct contacted uh, people who take notes um, on LinkedIn and also uh, Reddit and Instagram. Um, and we just invited them to share those notes on our closed beta, and we saw uh, a 40% um, conversion rate from those direct messaging um, initiatives, so it's pretty exciting. Wow, that is really exciting. So what kind of, um, what kind of topics can people find notes um, for on there now? Uh, so it, the site isn't, it will be going live today. So in the closed beta, we have everything from calculus to, I think the most intriguing one is a blogger who posted how to understand raising chickens and all the different breeds <laughs> of chickens. I know, it's, it's great. I didn't even realize that there were so many different breeds and that the breeds are, you know, result in different types of eggs. So it was really fascinating. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, and so let's talk about quality of content because it sounds to me like you're getting really unique content. Like for the person that wants to learn about that, there's probably not too many. I mean, just to be able to, that, that categorizing um, that you mentioned, I mean, super important because there could be a ton of content, but if you can't get to it, you know what I mean? No, no point, right? For sure. Well, our goal is to make registration and the note uploading process like as smooth and quick as possible. Um, really, you know, it's, it only takes an anonymous username and email address to register, and then you're up and running and able to add notes. Um, and you also need to connect your Stripe account if you want to set a price for notes. But if you want to post notes for free, you don't even need to have Stripe. Um, and we saw that our users were able to post notes within a minute. And that, that just included, like, giving a title, a thumbnail image, and then some keyword tags. And then it was live and able to earn passive income. Wow, that's amazing. And so what are the plans going forward? So now you've gotten through the closed beta, you're, you're, as you mentioned, the site's launching. Um, what, what are the plans going forward? Like what are the, what's the next steps for SmartNotes? 
Uh, well, at this point, we have applied to accelerators, um, and we are looking to raise our first seed round. Um, and beyond that, we, we're we really targeting student users at this point, but um, it's, it's fascinating. There's over 31 million um, active bloggers just in the U.S. alone. Um, and that's a, a really interesting problem to me because I used to be a blogger myself. Um, and just the process of blogging that you need to host a blog, a website, you're investing in the SEO to rank better in Google search, and you need to post regularly um, or even create your ad funnel to draw users to your content. So it's really just like a huge investment of time and money and your energy to get those downloads to, to your content. And what intrigues us most is like tapping into that as our next step um, to direct reach out to bloggers and let them know that when they post notes um, on our platform, they actually retain the copyright to those notes. So they'll be able to continue hosting it on their own blog, but then just use our platform as another medium to reach uh, potential users. And that's awesome. I love it. It's a great concept. It's uh, it's really interesting. It's also providing a lot of value out there, and uh, and I, I just think that there's a lot of different things, uh, different formats for it. So myself, let's say that I want it. So I'm going to take you through a, a user case. So let's say, okay, I have notes and I have things that I want to share about podcasting. That's what I do all day, all, all along, and I'm like, okay, well, I want to share this. So I could go on there. I could, you know, take some notes on what I do and processes and things that I think people would find of value. I could go to Smart Notes. I could upload that, and if I want to, I can just give it away for free and just say, hey, I just want to, you know, give it out, and I just want to make sure that people actually see it if I spend the time to write it, right? Um, so then as opposed to your regular website where maybe nobody's ever going to see it or you have to spend all this time, like you said, or money or SEO, then um, it makes it really seamless. And I can just go on there, put in the marketplace. If somebody searches for podcasts, guess what? They might come across my content. They like it. They download it. Then I did what I wanted to do. Does that sound accurate or am I off? No, you're absolutely spot on. That is that is the goal. And I I honestly think that there, we're still at the early stages, but it's fascinating with marketplaces. It's sort of, it, it's a dynamic platform so it really is going to have user input navigate where it goes but I could see in the future that um, our users would give content and give that value for free and then you know with increasing lessons they would opt to charge for that um, but it's, it's interesting to see where it's going to ultimately go because I, I love that it's going to have so much user input being a marketplace. Oh, man, that's exciting. So, Serena, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Smart Notes and to follow the progress or to contribute, um, I mean, what's the best way for them to follow up? They can definitely reach out to me directly at Serena at smartnotes.ai. Uh, that would be the best way. But we're at on LinkedIn and we're on Instagram as well, uh, smartnotes.ai. Perfect. Well, hey, Serena, it's been great having you on the show today and, and to teach us more about Smart Notes and your project and what you're, um, and what you're bringing to the marketplace. I mean, I think it's awesome. It's a great concept, and I think a lot of people are going to get a lot of value out of it. So everybody listening, definitely go check that out on Smart Notes and, uh, and uh, become a contributor. I mean, it's just a really cool concept. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. Leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel mission matters innovation definitely give us a subscribe there but also um, um leave us some comments in the video i mean i, I want to hear from you too and see what kind of projects you're working on and serena thanks again for coming on the show